If you're looking to understand the key differences between first party versus third party cookies, then you're at the right video as I'm gonna break down how they both work and the implications they each have on your business, whether you are a marketer or you're just working in online advertising in any capacity. Welcome back to Market and Hustle. My name is Aaron Sidhu, and if this is your first time here, you should consider subscribing as we frequently publish videos designed to simplify marketing so that you can accelerate your business growth. Now, a cookie is a piece of code that lives on your web browser, and it stores information in order to identify you to enhance your experience online. Now, there is a difference between a first party and a third party cookie. At a technical level, they're both very similar. They can do the same things, they have the same types of information, and they can both perform the same functions. But where they are different is how they are used. Now, first party cookies, for example, are created by a domain or a website to enhance your experience when you're on the website so that if you return back to the website, there's certain information that already lives there, like your username, your address, your payment information. If you added something to cart, that still saves you time and essentially gives you a better experience. Now, first party cookies can also help to provide better product recommendations when you're on the website, and it could also help to customize the content that you're being exposed to. Now, we all agree these are general positive things. However, third party cookies are different as they are not placed by the domain or the website. They're actually placed by advertisers for the goal to advertise so that they can retarget you with personalized messaging based on your behavior online. And this is generally known as those creepy ads that follow you around the internet and annoy you. Now, due to recent data privacy scandals with companies misusing and abusing data for consumers, there has been a stream of backlash that has caused regulation and laws to be introduced like GDPR, which require now uh, websites to show a pop-up uh, once you log in or once you get to the website so that they can let people know that their data is being used and how. Now, another new important law that was recently introduced was CCPA, which stands for the California Consumer Protection Act, which essentially allows you as a consumer to benefit from three things. Number one, you can ask companies what data they have about you. Number two, you can ask them not to sell your data. And number three, most important, you can ask them to delete your data. These types of changes in the regulatory environment have signaled to the internet companies that they're, they need to update their outdated cookie-based technology system and find a balance between privacy and user identification. So we're moving into a future where there's going to be a lot more transparency of how companies use consumer data for their own profitability. And at the center of this conversation in 2020 is Google as they recently announced that they will be phasing out third party cookies, these types, over the next two years. Now, the reason why this is su such a big deal is because Google Chrome owns about 64% of the market share when it comes to web browsers and the decision to remove third party tracking will have a sizable impact on billions of web searches and the ad tech landscape as a whole. And one of the parts of this evolving conversation is that it's positioned Google. They've come up with a solution that's called Privacy Sandbox that they, they believe it's gonna be a balance between privacy and tracking. But a lot of people are calling it BS because essentially what it does, it positions Google to just get a bigger share of the advertising dollars out in the landscape because now advertisers will be forced to go towards their investment towards more Google products because they can't track effectively. So regardless of how the cards lay out, there's one thing that is for sure. You know, the internet is changing and we have to just enjoy this ride. Hopefully it takes us to a more efficient and better internet that benefits all consumers and advertisers as well as a lot of the content experiences out there are fueled by their dollars. Hey guys, pop quiz. Where does the data from a cookie get stored? Is it A, by the website you're browsing on, or B, by the browser you're using? If you think you know the answer, make sure to comment below. And if you get it right, I'm gonna give you a shout out in one of the future videos. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in once again to Marketing and Hustle, where we simplify marketing so that you can accelerate your business growth. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you learned something new. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.